What's up, man? This is Frankie. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. Might not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock because of anything that I say in this video or get into a short squeeze play. Do your own DD, man. I'm just an entertainer on YouTube. Check this out, bro. You know, first, let me give a shout out to the people in AMC and GME. I'm not in either one of those plays right now, but the people making money and the stock running. The stock is running. So congratulations. Although I do think hedge funds or, or institutions is pushing that, not necessarily retail investors for whatever, whatever reason. But people making money, man, so it's all good. But that's not what this video is about. I'm sitting up here watching a video of a former SEC chair. He's talking. And look, bro, see, it's like when I listen to people like this, it kind of lets me know, man, it gives me the feelings that the SEC is not on retail investor side, you know, and they act like, man, they don't understand why we get in these short squeeze plays, you know. We in the we we understand that we like, they act like we don't know that we can be investing in safe plays, like we don't understand it. You see what I'm saying? But we in these short squeeze plays, hedge funds can invest in short squeeze plays and invest in safe plays, but a, a lot of them are not. They trying to make life changing money in these short squeeze plays. They criminally short these plays, trying to make life changing money. Just like we trying to make life changing money in these short squeeze plays. But when we do it, man, it's a problem. When they do it, it's not a problem. When we do it, it's gambling. When they do it, it's not gambling. You see what I'm saying? They can be investing in safe plays. We can too. But we, some of us, we choose to be in short squeeze plays. So man, I'm listening to him. And like I said, anytime, anytime retail investors start winning, in a short squeeze play, a star making money in a stock that's being criminally attacked with counterfeits with, and, and with security fraud, you know, and with naked shorts. Anytime retail investors start winning in those plays that's being shorted by a criminal beating their heads funds and one percenters, they always find somebody, bro. They're going to go get somebody. They're going to start interviewing somebody and that person's God, I'm going to, that person's going to, Start saying that retail investors is gambling. They do it all the time. You see what I'm saying? It's like they don't that now this they don't say that, okay, when the hedge funds and these criminal billionaire uh hedge funds, when these hedge funds start, you know, investing um pension fund money, retirees money, <clears throat> when they start investing their money in these dangerous short squeeze plays, they have unlimited risk. Don't nobody come to them and tell them, man, they're not being professional. They shouldn't be gambling with uh, people money. They should be investing in other stocks. They don't try to stop them. Nobody don't say nothing to them. It ain't a problem now when they investing in a play. They trying to make life changing money. But it's a problem, man, when retail trying to do it. You see what I'm saying? It's like, man, what I would say to people like this former SEC chair. And people that feel the way that he feel. Stop blaming, man, um, price swings in stocks like AMC and GME. Stop blaming these price swings on something being a mean stock in retail investors. Retail investors, man, is merely just responding to the corruption that's taking place with the stock. So don't blame, don't blame. If you want to, if you want to truly blame, blame somebody. You know, for what's going on with the stock, whether it be AMC, GME, a GTII when it ripped, finger when it ripped, you want to blame somebody, blame criminal beating their hedge funds and these criminal short sellers. Stop blaming mean stocks and stop blaming retail. Retail is just responding to the corruption, like I said. You see what I'm saying? Look, it's okay to sit there and make money in trades like this, these short squeeze plays. It's okay, man. And like I said, if Ken Griffin, Citadel, or if BlackRock making money, criminal being their hedge funds make money, but retail, not small retail investors, retail investors can't make no money. If they doing it, it's wrong. <clears throat> if they doing it, it's gambling. And then <clears throat> this guy right here, they're going to ask him a question. You know, they talking about, they said, well, the majority of the companies are choosing to go private. They don't want to be public. 
So they asked him why one excuse he used said, well, man, they got to they got to they got to go through a whole lot of hoops. No, that may be some of the reason. Let's be honest. At this point, everybody know this shit is crooked. The whole stock market is nothing but a pyramid scheme. Everybody at this, tell the truth, be honest. Don't just be getting on there to push an agenda saying that retail is gambling. Tell the truth, man, why companies don't really want to become public. You got criminal billionaire hedge funds shortening stocks with counterfeits and naked shorting. You got security fraud. The stock market is functioning like a pyramid scheme. So let's be honest. But I'm let this is the interview. That anytime retail investors win, man, somebody always come up with some bullshit. Zen, you worry about the short yeah, seller. And that's that I think and, is, and is what's your concern? Important. I mean, if when you look at this, you worry about the retail investor who follows in, you worry about the short yeah, sellers well, who get squashed. Well, let's let's take a step back. We're we're doing a bad job for our retail investors. We're doing a really bad job. Because you have two choices. You can invest in an S P five hundred index like product where thirty percent of your returns are driven by six stocks. And any kind of stock picking in, in that really doesn't matter as you go down the spectrum of public companies. We're also not bringing enough companies into the public market. So you have that choice, which is kind of a I'm joining the herd mentality, or you have these speculative. That's that's what a retail investor sees. Retail investor sees I've got that. I'm with the herd no matter what, which is not not bad. Or I've got these speculative, you know, meme stocks, zero date options, levered ETFs, those types of things where you're get, you're trending from trading to gambling. And if you're not a professional, you're gambling. So you worry that this ends badly? Yeah. I, I think it, I think it's a, the integrity of our marketplace, but it's it's really a broader issue. We are shrinking the amount of investment opportunities on a relative basis for our retail investors. Eighty percent of the companies that have over a hundred million dollars in revenue are private now. We've gone from 80, 8,500 public companies how, how do you to below three thousand. What's causing that? What's creating that problem? The, the, it's it's driven by many factors. It's a dynamic result of capital available for private, but it's mostly driven by the regulatory hurdles to be a public company. See, in my opinion, man, this whole interview was really done. The whole purpose for that interview is to show, is to say that retail investors, retail investors, they gamble. To me, that was, that's the whole purpose, man, for doing that. You know, retail investors, they not being professional when they invest in stocks like GME and AMC, you know, but now, being their hedge funds, I'm hearing they almost lost a billion dollars, man, in GME, shorting that stock. He, did he do an interview talking about how much money it's unprofessional for their ass to lose a billion dollars by shorting that stock? No, but he did an interview trying to make it seem bad, you know, trying to make people don't get involved in AMC or don't get involved in GME. It's bad. The retail investors, man, they, they are professional. They don't know what they're doing. They gambling, man. It's all bullshit, bro. But thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.